infinity. Where the dying takes form. Hello, welcome to Maya Config 2.3. This version of the config coincides with Blender 4.3 and Blender 4.3 long-term support. So let's dive right in. So to, to get the config up to speed with 4.3, a lot of coding updates have been done. Uh, the, the UI was broken, a lot of hotkeys were broken, uh, a, lo a lot of bugs, which is pretty normal for a big update, Blender update. Uh, the coding gets updated and breaks the config. So we've got all that up to speed. Everything should be working. As well as that, we've got a few new features. Uh, Control G now brings up this move to collection, which is nice. So if you've got a few different objects, let's say we have a cube and a cylinder, etc. And we select these, we can hit Control G in the viewport here to create a new collection or scene collection. We can also hit Control G within the outliner to do the same. So that's pretty nice. The snapping tools have been uh, not working for a little while. So if we go to DV, and D as in dog, V as in Victor, we get our snap to, and we can snap to vertices that way. If I hit DG, I'm, now you, you'll see I'm, I'm actually clicking on this circle. I can snap to polygons. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. So that'll snap directly to my polygon. Same with that. And then DC will snap to your curve or edge like so. So once again, that's DV, DG, and DC. So that's all working again within this update on 4.3. So a big exciting feature we have now is with the mesh smooth uh, previews. So if I go in here, typically if we were to hit this button here, or hit three, uh, we get a mesh smooth preview. And the same would happen on the two hotkey as well as uh, one turns it off. So if I hit one now, it'll turn it off. Well, now if you hit two, you get a cage projection preview that you can come in and edit directly on your mesh smooth. So this only works on the second iteration. So if I go over to three, we just get our, our normal mesh smooth, no cage. One is obviously no cage, and then two brings us into the cage for editing. So if I go in here, let me uh, add a little subdivision to this mesh. Okay, now I'm going to go back out to object mode. I'm going to go ahead and hit 2. And you'll see it's working. I can go into vertex, select a vertice, and edit directly on top of the smooth mesh smooth preview. So that's a very cool new feature. So the last thing we have here is a work in progress, but I want to show you guys anyways. Uh, so typically when you're working on texturing, we've got this hypershade tab up here, which has all your, your shaders and whatnot. Um, and you know, obviously with the MyConfig Pro, you get all these pre-built shaders that are probably familiar if you're coming from uh, Maya. So if I come over to modeling, I'll show you what we've got going on. Typically, 
in in Maya that that sort of hypershade window would open up as a new window. Uh, it wouldn't be a tab here. So we're looking into the possibility of having that for Maya Config Pro. So far, there's a little hypershade button here now on the left side Pro panel. So I'm gonna click that, and you got a shader editor. So if you come in here, let's go ahead and click New. Uh, you've got you know the the capability of adding shaders here. Uh, we're hoping to have more, uh, something akin to the Hypershade uh, tab here. But for now, that's uh, something that we're working on. It's pretty cool to be able to pop that out. So wish us luck. Hopefully we can get that in there for you guys. And yeah, that pretty much concludes all of the new features for my config pro version 2.3 if you have any questions comments um, ideas for future updates be sure to comment below all right guys so thank you so much for the support uh, looking forward to your thoughts on my config pro version 2.3 take it